Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Confessions. Everyone wants to confess, but not everyone wants to hear them. Today, I'm joined by someone who's really checking out to make sure I'm recording. I'm not sure, but you're looking real puzzled <laughs> by that. I'm joined by the return of the great Alastair Tremblay Birchall. Welcome. Bonjour. Tremblay. I'm so sorry. Hey? I said Tremblay. Tremblay. I mean, I what even say, I say, tr- I say Tremblay. <laughs> Tremblay. But that's because I'm French Canadian. Okay. And so that's the part. Let I- me take it again. You don't even have to. I want to. Okay, well, let's, I mean, but hey I want there, to. everybody. Welcome to Confessions. <laughs> everybody wants to confess, but not everyone wants to hear them. Today I'm joined by Alistair Tremblay Birchall. Oh my goodness. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Very good. We got that the second time. That was really yeah, nice. I'm going to yeah. leave all of it in. Please do. It's all good stuff. I mean, I think it's important for the audience to know that we are flawed. <sighs> in some ways. Yeah. In all ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got heaps of flaws. Yeah. Haven't got time to mention all of them. <laughs> Deeply flawed individuals. Sure. I mean, one of the flaws is that there's no part of us that is unflawed. You know? Wow, that's beautifully put. I'm yeah. crying over here. <laughs> I started bawling my eyes out. My mascara is running. And, of course, for the first time, the wonderful David M. Green. Welcome. Hello. It's good Hello. to be here. What a pleasure to have you here. Now, David, let's get right in to plugs right up top. I love to plug right up top. Now, we want to talk about VHS Review. Now, you put a lot of work into these. Uh, you can tell. This, yeah. <laughs> this is on uh, Instagram.com. It's on all, is it, you put it on YouTube.com? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on TikTok. Oh my God, you put it uh, on everything. Yeah. Can Twitter, you tell us a little still. bit about it? It's, the concept is I get a VHS tape that someone's used to record TV, yep. or, uh, you know, back in the day when mm-hmm. you, that was the only way to record something you liked off TV in yep. the 80s, 90s, 2000s. And I go through the tape. And I cut together like the most interesting, maybe five minutes. And yep. most of the time it's whatever the program it was, not very interesting, but the right. ad breaks is yes. uh, is where all the good stuff is. Where uh, are you yeah. finding all of these? Have you got an archive that you're going through to find everything? Yeah, I I started with just some of my tapes that I used yep. from when I was a teenager and I just never threw them out. Then I got some from like, you know, dead relatives and then people- They left them to you in the Well, we, the they, they, we found them. <laughs> I don't think they- Really care to the the grave <laughs> robbing like going in. <laughs> yeah, like when we were cleaning out like houses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like that. yeah. Um, but then, yeah, people started sending me sending me tapes. So yeah, some are from like people who watched the show. Yeah, some I found on the street in <laughs> hard rubbish. <laughs> Great. Nice. Yes. Um, my neighbour gave me a uh, gave me a, a quite a large batch recently. Yeah. He said, I'm clearing out my back room. I got 500 VHS tapes. Do you want them? Holy. And uh, I, I said yes, just because he literally lived next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really realize how many tapes that actually is. It, <laughs> yeah. It's eight pl- big plastic boxes. Oh, like, wow. Like this big, about yay big. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's that'll keep me good for the next couple of decades, I think. Yeah, at, yeah. At the rate that I'm going through them. <laughs> are, you, are you watching everything or are you watching it like double speed to go through them or how are you doing it? Uh, I I will digitize it. So yep. you got to do that in real time. Yeah. Okay. So if it's a three hour tape, that takes three hours. But I'll you know let that run, and then once it's a digital file, you can kind of skip through it yeah. faster. Okay. But yeah. if it's a movie or something, usually I don't even bother watching that. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just maybe the opening titles and then just straight to the ad breaks. Yeah, you're not sitting down and putting each VHS in a tape and going, I'm going to watch this all the way through. Yeah, not, not generally, but th- there have been a few things that were kind of interesting. Yeah, like the, yeah. the Playboy 50th anniversary celebration. I watched that all the way through. Of course. Just in case. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And there were some interesting things like here and there. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny, though, to look back on all those things. Have you found any in particular that you've been kind of obsessed with or things that you couldn't put in? Like, was is there anything that... It's been a bit, a bit weird. Like, because you're looking back a long way and going, "Oh, that wasn't quite right. I can't put that in." Yeah. Oh, a lot of stuff is dated. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff that you couldn't get away with now. Yes. Like, well, you can't say anything anymore. I'm always saying that. No, <laughs> you, you can't. But it's like, the last thing you can say. <laughs> last thing I can say ever. There was a lot of nudity in ads. Oh, sure. Back okay. In the, back in the nineties. Yeah. I need to get my hands on some of these tapes. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? <laughs> and and not just for like you know the late night phone line. Yeah. Ads. Sure. There's lots of those, but like uh, there's ads for strip clubs, and wow. you, and you can actually see the topless women in the ads. There's <laughs> like um, ads for there's an ad for Clio magazine from right. 1995, and it's the concept is it's a bunch of naked men in yeah. a line, yeah. And two women with like white coats are like walking along the line with like a, a ruler and measuring their penises. That's fun. <laughs> and then it's like I like this as a concept. The, yeah. the, the sealed section of Clio this mag this this month is yeah. like you know the worldwide guide to penis size. 
That's and great. I, I put that clip on TikTok and it was taken down because oh, it was right. too Measuring much. Measuring penises too is too much, much apparently. Well, you, you could see them from the back, but it was too much butt crack for TikTok's algorithm. Also, you're guessing the penis size in that. You, yeah, you it's it's implied penis. because <laughs> you, can, you can see the ruler and the, there's a tape measure, like one of those like ones that you yeah, use to, you know, the, the ones that hold up. Yeah, you yeah. You okay. to measure on a construction yeah. site. <laughs> Yeah. Construction site for measuring <laughs> penis. It's quite nice. Yeah. So where do people find it? And what do they what do they type in? Because uh, it's VHS review R E V U E. Yeah. Which in hindsight wasn't the best <laughs> uh, search engine optimization. Sure, sure. Um, but uh, yeah. So re- but if you type review the regular way, you'll probably find it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you do your best. Yeah. So sure. YouTube that and Instagram at VHS review. Uh, Google, you'd probably find it. Yeah, great. Yeah, it's out there. <laughs> it's out there. And Alistair, Tremblay, Birchall. Can I just start by saying there's some really great stuff on that VHS r- review. This is great. Keep, and talking. I, and Keep I, talking. And I love and I love this program. And I give it two thumbs up. Wow. How many thumbs? Thank you. One, one of my thumbs is called Siskel. <laughs> and the other one's called Ebert. <laughs> and I'm giving them both. Did you just make that up? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I've been calling them that <laughs> since I was a kid. <laughs> God, he's so quick. He's yeah. so quick with that sort of stuff. Now, look, what have you got coming up? Because you've got a goddamn podcast. That's i got a goddamn podcast. Oh, my God. God, it's wonderful. My God. it's You know, it's it, it turned 10 years old uh, Congratulations. this year. Uh, the, the, the Two in the Think Tank podcast. If it was a child, I'd be stopping breastfeeding right now, I believe. I, I don't know a lot about kids, but I think. That's when, yeah, I would now be stopping <laughs> breastfeeding this 10-year-old child, this child that is in now year five yeah, or- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah don't worry i get kids yeah i would now be, be beginning weaning this uh podcast child and getting it, off, getting it yeah. onto some solids yeah. it's just a great anecdote <laughs> yeah getting like, a little mashed pumpkin to yep. that kid that's right. a little avocado yep um and so now it is ready for your ears <laughs> And that's what you do to a kid who turns after 10, 10 years. You can start listening to it. That's right. Once you start off, listening once, to a child after 10 years. Once it's off the boob. <laughs> and I just do it. It's a podcast I do with Andy Matthews. Uh, the great Andy Matthews, I'll say that. The great Andy Matthews. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Andy Matthews extraordinaire. Oh God, he's good. Um, he's a pro. Yeah, absolutely. Pro in the best. Yeah. And so, uh, and then we just come up with sketch ideas. And it's just a very silly thing, but yeah. it's, a, it's a fun time. If you if you like those sort of things, absolutely. And you two are going to. I love those sorts of things. And you two are going to be doing it remotely because you're moving to Canada. We're moving to Canada oh, for maybe, maybe a year or two. Yeah, uh, probably somewhere closer to two. Maybe three. Maybe three. But you know, can I, don't, I get a four? I, can I get? You four? know what? You're gonna. I'm gonna give you a four. No, I just. I don't think that it's viable. But mm. but you know what? I'm. We're 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 trying for two just to shake things up. Yeah, why just not? Just to shake things yeah. up. You know. But I have to come back anyway because every hundredth episode of our podcast, me and Andy have to do a big live episode because we just did the four hundredth. Yeah. You want, anybody wants to see a big old big old podcast? There's a four hundred. A uh, 400th episode of Two in the Think Tank live yep. stream that goes for about 20, 21 hours. I had a listener uh, of Confession sending me a photo the other day. They're watching it now. That's crazy. Every night I think they're watching a some, little, uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little <laughs> were, bit. Were you there? Were you in it? <sighs> I was not there. I was not invited. You were in the 300th, I think. I was in the 300th. He was in the 300th. I wasn't we, invited for the other one. Because I, <laughs> I was a guest after you. So I, oh, yes, that was of course. The first time I met you. Yeah. It was just a quick, hello, nice to meet you. And then, <laughs> then straight you're out. out yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't talk to people off mic. This time, I think um, Sam had a had a back injury oh on the god. day. Oh god! I got off stage and I hurt my back, and uh, I had to message and be like, "I don't think I'm coming in." But it was so sad to miss it. It was very sad. Oh. But then we got we got like two hours of Jack Drews because he because he used. So it wasn't you know it wasn't okay, too bad. Okay. You know that was that was a nice exchange. <laughs> yeah, lovely exchange. It's, it's a good trade off. Yeah. yeah, and uh, but I think you know it's, it's, it was at that point later on in the day when we were starting to kind of like really tire and we needed more food and mm. things like that, and so. You know, could have used your energy. Absolutely. You Love know. to bring my attitude and energy everywhere. Absolutely. Maybe bring your big dog. That would have been helpful. <laughs> that would have been very helpful. Because he would have eaten some stuff. He would have jumped on people. He I probably would, would have that. damaged the cameras. It would have been really, would have been really great. Fun. Could have had a Graham Kennedy moment there. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. I make him piss on something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I force, him to force my dog to piss on something. And then you could do, I'll do, I'll do a call for you or something. That would be great. If you want to the dog would start taking the dog calls. Will take, That's yeah. take calls for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Tom from Ashburton on the line or something like that. Yeah. 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 He's good like that. And he's like, <laughs> like that. He's but, a good sound effect. Yeah, thank you. Thank um, you, you know, can I have that? I've wor- you, you want that? You want, want this? That. Okay, hang on. How do I give it to you? <laughs> Just do it one more time. <laughs> I got it clean. That's a new theme song for yeah. the podcast. It's really long. I just do it. I kind of loop it around. It's really I nice. mean, you know, you put that into one of those like tuners these days. You can make a song. These with days that. you can do that. These days you can do that. You could probably compress it, make it into the beat. These days. You can do- 
And then <laughs> I don't need to now because that was awesome. <laughs> That was awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank now, you. today I found some wonderful Reddit confessions, uh, and we're going to solve their oh gorgeous gosh. problems today. Now, David, have you ever been on reddit.com? Are you a, are you a fan of Reddit at all? Do you ever go yes. and scroll? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I started an account in 2012. Oh, and congratulations. I hardly used it for ages, and then I did one Simpsons meme, and now I have like 2,000 karma. So Yeah, great. If you yeah, need yeah. me to post something, I can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You have access. Yeah. Have you ever looked through the Reddit or Am I the Asshole threads? Have you ever been through? A little. A yeah. little, yeah. Is it a too, too terrifying then. a world to, to go into? Oh, you can really fall down that oh, hole, yeah. can't you? Oh, I have. I certainly have. Yeah. Six years, almost six years into this podcast, I've fallen in deep. Now that's that's the, that's the risk with Reddit because oh, there's just so much stuff. And so you really, yeah. yeah, you are like standing on the on on the cliff edge of falling into too much information, <laughs> you know? And you have. You've fallen have, in I deep. Fell, you are at the, deep. You're Tiny Tim at the bottom of the well. That's right. Calling and this out podcast is you... Calling us for help, can you beautiful getting book. friends to try to lift you out? But you, you're like actually, I've I've been institu- institutionalized at the bottom of this big wet hole. This is a new tagline for the show. It's long, but it's not. Yeah. It's, <laughs> make it's it a ac- metaphor. Make it an acronym. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we have some wonderful people today that I've found on Reddit.com, and they are just gorgeous, gorgeous people. Now, the first confession comes from Jack. <gasps> yeah, it's already good, isn't it? Yeah. Jack confesses. I've been shitting in random people's toilets for as long as I can remember. Well, haven't we all? Yeah. I guess, in a way. <laughs> That's life. That's a That's perfect life. description of life. <laughs> That's just what life is. I don't know why. It just struck me one day that it was something that I'm into. I think it's the thrill of quite possibly getting caught. <laughs> Wait, is he breaking an entry? Breaking, yeah, breaking an entry. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he left yeah, that yeah. out. <laughs> he left that bit out. <laughs> Shitting out of people's toilets is just part of life, but he's yeah. actually breaking into people's houses. Sure. I will see if a door is unlocked and then I will wander in. I wander into unlocked houses all the time and take a shit. It's an intense thing to do, but I know that some of you will understand. <laughs> It's a broad stroke, really, to just be like, I know some of you will understand. Probably. Yeah. Well, in a I way, mean, if you're on Reddit, sure. Yeah, probably. I mean, I guess there's a big enough population out there. <laughs> some people that are into it. Here's the thing that might not allow you to like me. <laughs> might not allow Every, you to like Everything about me. you? Everything about you. I'm a married man. I have a family, a wife, two kids, and a dog that greets everyone with a hello and how do you do? Oh, my goodness. It's quite a nice dog. <laughs> talking dog. Talking yeah. dog. I hate this guy. My dog didn't do that. <laughs> How do you do? Yeah, I am finding this guy <laughs> yeah, difficult to like. <laughs> this is my life. I'm a good man, a man who has built himself up from a working class background and became the person you see before you today. Is it Anthony Albanese? It is Anthony Albanese. Thank <laughs> okay. you. That was just a guessing game now, this podcast. That was Anthony Albanese. Okay, next one. And this is a fan tale. Sorry, it's a really long fan tale. Right. <laughs> and what do I have to show for it? Well, I'm embarrassed, quite embarrassed with who I have become. I would be too, I reckon. Sure. It's a part of me that I cannot be proud of. A man, a man like me, forget it. I don't know what that means. What does he want me to forget? What? I think this whole thing, a man like me. The part of you shitting in the... (laughs) The part of you breaking and entering. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm already just at the part where he's like trying people's doors. Like already that feels like a bad part of life. It does, Because I mean, most of them will be locked. Sure. So I reckon reckon 99%. Like, I mean, but also you just see a guy across the street on the other side of the street walking from house to house, trying doors. (laughs) Walking very oddly because he needs to shit real bad. Yeah, the first thing thing you do is, all right, uh, triple zero. (laughs) (laughs) I don't feel safe. A part of me that I cannot shy away from. I love the thrill of getting caught and whether that's through this odd little quirk I found. It's an odd little quirk, isn't it? (laughs) Also, you're quirky. (laughs) Love breaking and entering. Or something completely different I'm yet to discover. Wow, it scares the hell out of me to know I'm like this. I'm built this way and I don't know if there's a way out. I don't think my dad would have been into this and can't imagine my mum doing it, so I don't think it's genetic. What? Is breaking and entering genetic? I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, wild. I mean, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I don't do biology, so I can't 100% We can't tell actually you. Need a, tell you. a criminologist, I think, yeah. <laughs> to answer that one. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who understands the criminal mind. Yes. Maybe. Oh, yeah. We need this. We need Monk, the obsessive compulsive detective. <laughs> that's the only the only person who can help. I imagine that's, that's what Monk would be doing. He's yeah, the kind absolutely. of guy who would be going into people's houses and using the bathroom. That's right. The other day, I nearly got found out. I was in a downstairs bathroom and someone knocked on the door and I made a noise so no one came in. 
Wait, you were in somebody else's house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, someone's in here. Someone, then, someone you don't know is in here. Could be, a, could be a share house. Could be a share house. You know, we don't that's know. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I ran so quickly after that and have not been back to the house since. But I'm mortified that someone saw me. What if they saw me? Did a sketch artist drawing? And told my wife what I was getting up to when I say I'm going for a simple walk. What era does this guy live in <laughs> where he doesn't think that there might just be cameras? It doesn't it yeah. seem like a very kind of North American thing. Yeah, Everybody sure. has door cams sure. and things like that. Cameras yeah. inside the house yeah. now. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. Somebody will have seen me run from the basement. And have access to a sketch artist. Yeah, and then go, I'm going to describe him pers- uh, perfectly. perfectly. To someone just sitting on there doing like cartoons of people. Yeah. Just, and I, then need, I need to talk to you about someone else. Put post wanted posters That's all good. over the town. That's you good. Know, like that. Yeah, a caricature of Reward, 10,000. <laughs> oh, no, I've turned into this guy. That's how it ends. Uh, we all hate to turn into that guy. We yeah. don't know if it's genetic or not. Now, the wonderful people on reddit.com love to comment. Sure. So before you give your advice, and I'm sure you've got lovely advice to give mm. to this person. <laughs> We've all been in a situation like this before. Yeah, yeah. We've got Bog Trotter writes, don't worry, my friend. I've been here and I wouldn't let it worry you too much. We all do things we're not proud of. And I'm sure one day you'll grow out of it like a pair of jeans. <laughs> Must return jeans. The, he ends it with, yeah. with must return. Is that user's name actually Bog Bogdrotter? <laughs> Seems very apt. It's yeah. a very apt way. Yeah. I think they, but they probably search this sort of stuff all the time and comment right. on things. <laughs> like a pair of jeans, must return jeans. This on the end up. So they got it. That's a note to self. I mean, must it return. sounds like Bog Trotter would be the name of the guy who wrote. Absolutely, this thing. yeah. It's a similar Bog Trotter. So I think when he was like, there might be people out here that will relate. I think Bog Trotter was like, absolutely relate to this. Yeah. Hard relate to this. You've got malevolent devil writes. Take it from me, breaking and entering is never the answer <laughs> ever. <laughs> Please stop doing this before you hurt yourself, or worse, hurt the people who are breaking into. They have hearts too. Oh yeah, beautifully. Breaking and entering is never the answer. Uh, what about? This when you question. lock yourself what, up. What about this question? Oh. What is it called when you uh, break into good. somebody's house? What's that? Breaking and entering. I love that. Yeah. We'll be back after Miss Egan. <laughs> that got us out. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Sexy Lace writes, if I found you in my house, I would make sure that you would never walked into another person's home again. Oh, my God. I'd tie your legs up and smack <laughs> your bottom so hard. Just, just you try and cross me. I'd have sex with you. <laughs> Bet you can't. Bet you I like count. that. I really like Eric's sexy face. This is sexy all one life. comment. <laughs> it's a lot of emotional fun. Now, David, what would you do in a situation like this? What is the advice? If this was you in this situation, let's just say that it's genetic and you found yourself breaking and entering and cheating in people's houses. Yeah. Would you Would you tell your wife and kids, sit the kids down? Mm. <laughs> they just stop breastfeeding, they're 10. I, I think I'd post an anonymous thing on Reddit. I yeah, think probably, yeah probably the only thing you'll do. Just stop doing it, you think? Yeah. Well, I think like this, it reminds me a bit of, you remember the poo jogger? Yes. Everyone was talking about Love him a few years jogger, ago. Love a big fan. Mm. This is basically the same guy, but at least he is doing it in a toilet, which, you know, that's true. Just from in a someone's sanitation house. point of view. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So you just write it on Reddit and just leave it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly what he's done. <laughs> but yeah. just stop doing yeah. it, now, you think, I, or you keep doing I, it? Yeah, I'd confess, and then I'd yeah. probably not do it anymore. Not do it anymore. Alistair yeah. Trombley, virtual. I, I think he'd, he has to double down and do it more. That's, right. that's an incredible because, thing to say. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so because much. Because I think if he's, get, if he's going into unlocked houses... The chances are is that most of those unlocked houses have people in them. Yeah. Sure. Right? Okay. That's interesting. And so he just needs to get really caught. Yeah. And then go to jail. Yeah. And then he'll be shitting in a random person's toilet That's every true. time. But what about like David like went to my old address before because I didn't give him the new one. Yeah. I refused to. Sure. <laughs> and he went to my place. Big echoey door. Yeah. When you when you went there, and you know that's a that's an empty house. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, probably no plumbing. But then it's not a person. <laughs> yeah. It was locked. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. This is the interesting. Bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. I think. I mean, it seems stupid. He seems. This person seems. Wow. Stupid. This is huge to say and very rude. Actually. I mean, I I mean, it's because I think that there's almost no thrill that's worth chasing. In life, <laughs> that's depressing. Maybe, maybe I was like, maybe, I, maybe I'm, I'm more at the point where I'm like, you're over it. Almost nothing is fun. What about moving to Canada? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to find okay. some fun. Trying I'm trying to, to find some fun, right? Uh, I do, I do love riffing with uh, with the boys and the girls. Yeah, 
Who's your favorite to riff with? Uh, I mean, I look, you know, I'm I'm, I'm a dedicated Andy Matthews r- riffer. Yeah, you yeah, know? you've always been but loyal. I to will, him. I will, I will riff with any one of you. I don't mind. Would you, would you break into a a, an, a house <laughs> yeah. to riff with whoever happens to be in there? <laughs> That's a great question. <sighs> I mean, let's say, okay, let's say I enjoy riffing, mm. okay, like mm-hmm. that, and then I go, but then how do I? enjoy the thrill of not getting caught. They would almost have to be like, I go to riff with people's kids or <laughs> while, the, yeah. while the parents are there. <laughs> Riffing with people's kids. Yeah, I got or them. you'd crash house parties or yeah. like a, a wedding good. or something like that. Well, that's yeah. Yeah. They don't necessarily that's know you're that. not supposed to be there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who's this guy who's riffing yeah. with? Yeah. He's got can't stop riffing. Is he on your side of the family? <laughs> I love this like, guy. Who invited this riffer? <laughs> It's a massive riffer. Yeah, breaking and riffing. Yeah, so he's <laughs> breaking and riffing. So, you, what are you saying at this point? That that he's found something that he just trying to dissect. I mean, what you've said I think exactly. what I'm saying yeah. is that he he has got himself psychologically to where it's a real problem. This is good. This is good. And that if he doesn't get in serious trouble for it, mm. it's just gonna. It's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. He's not gonna be able to pull out of this. No. Once you're once you're trying doors. Yep. Just so that you can see if you can shit in that house. That's the end. It's yeah, a slippery slope. Exactly. Yeah. There are no longer any rules of society for you. Yeah. Like that. Other than maybe just shitting right in the doorway. Yeah. You know, like that. And watch out for Eric's sexy lace. I'm terrified of that Eric's sexy lace. The yeah. Comment to the yeah, that's button. right. Yeah. You don't want people, you don't want to be shitting and then somebody has sex with you. <laughs> you reckon so, he, um... <laughs> <laughs> you just came off the bog. Yeah. And somebody's tying up your yeah. legs, <laughs> smacking your ass and having sex with you. That's you don't not, need that. You need to have a shower yeah, first or something. Yeah, yeah. You can't go he, straight into that. Does, is he flushing or is he leaving it? <laughs> well, he rang pretty quickly from the other one after the knock on the door. Yeah. So Because, I mean, I, I think know. that'd be thrilling to not flush because then yes. someone would discover that and go, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute, what's all this about? Who did this? Yeah, like a like <laughs> a sort of, a, like, sort of like a shit Santa Claus. You yes, know? Like that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Empties his bag and then, uh, and then gets out of there. Well, that, that's what he does. Eats a carrot. Eats a bit of carrot. Eats a bit of carrot and goes. <laughs> We've got the next yeah. confession today that comes from gorgeous Ash. Ash confesses, my friend Dulcie is a vision. A vision? A vision. <laughs> She's always been perfect at everything she does. I love how she just strolls through life without a care in the world. Things always have a way of being worked out with Dulcie. She's stunning. As t- <laughs> this is a good sentence. Yeah. As tall as a tree. And no signs of slowing down. I don't know if she's still growing. <laughs> in terms of getting as tall as... <laughs> Oh, it's the next tree. Yeah, a wow. building should be a building one day. Yeah, like, that's yeah. almost contradictory. Mm. Yeah, like, uh, was this tree moving? <laughs> yeah, we don't mm. know. And yeah. the glamour. She is so glamorous. And what do I have to say on the matter? Well, uh, I'm fucking your husband, Dulcie. And don't you forget it. Yeah, this, is right. big. this is big. I wanted to tear her life apart from the inside. I wanted to make sure that she would pay for me always being the less than in life. I wanted to make sure that she always knew that I was capable to do so much more. She's teaching her there's no free teaching lunch. Her, that's right. Yeah, there's and the, don't cut my lunch. Yeah, don't cut my lunch. Don't cut my lunch or give me a free if lunch. If your lunch is free, I'm <laughs> going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and this bitterness and resentment only comes from within. Dulcie hasn't done anything to provoke this kind of behaviour, but God, I wish she did. <laughs> so that you could not feel guilty. So you could not feel guilty about it, I guess. God, I wish she did. <laughs> God, I wish she did. I wished she was meaner to me so I could feel less guilty about having sex with her husband. Sure. <laughs> We're having an affair and I'm no longer proud of it. <laughs> well, she was proud she for was a little proud, bit. Proud That's for nice. a little bit. Chase that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> It all started a few years ago when we were out and Dulcie was showing off one of her latest art pieces. Oh, she's an artist She's as a beautiful well. artist too. Beautiful. Oh, you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tall v- as a visual? tree. Yeah, yeah very tree. visual. I wanted to go up there <laughs> and rip it down from the wall, piss on it and call it a night. Probably Paint. would be considered art by <laughs> yeah, some yeah. parts right. of the art community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think you'd have to call it a night after you've ripped something yeah. down and piss on it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I have this anger when it comes to Dulcie. I'm jealous. I know it's not a normal thing to feel like these feelings always come up when I least expect them. I mean, I think it's normal to feel jealousy. Sure. And that's think, okay. It's a healthy feeling. Yeah, yeah. You just got to learn how to process it a sure. slight bit healthier. <laughs> Stop having sex with people's husbands. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. This little voice inside my head that is annoyed at Dulcie because she's always been the pretty one and she's always been the type of person who could simply land anything just by how all men are in her orbit, are fascinated by her and love being in her orbit. 
like a like a moon around like an orbit. <laughs> Like she keeps using the word orbit. orbit. Like an orbit. Oh, she's giving herself away. She's, she's giving. giving she's probably works in a str- in, 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 in you know astrophysics. Oh or yes, something absolutely. Like that. Orbital mechanics. Planetarians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one really liked me when I was growing up. Everyone spoke to get to Dulcie, and when I finally was gorgeous enough, I got the look from Dulcie's husband, and I knew that he and I could make love in Dulcie's shadow. <laughs> in her she's shadow. In her shadow. Just behind her back. Yeah. Well, she's a very tall tree. She's <laughs> very tall. That's right. She's got a big shadow. Yeah. Both of us sitting there together, making eyes and licks at each other. Eyes and licks? Eyes and licks. <laughs> Licking at each other. Across making the room, licks nice. at each other. Yeah, making licks. Flirting. But is Never that... heard of it. Yeah. And that's actually, actually the first time. <laughs> it's the first time I've heard of flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Licking <laughs> lickin in the air. Just kind of... I'm awful. I'm an awful person. There is no good that can come from me. I'm the devil and I know it. <laughs> That's a good song. I think that's a, yeah. yeah, it could be a good song by Red Foo or someone like that. Oh, I love God. I love Red, Red Foo. Foo. <laughs> 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 I'm sexy and I know it. I think that. <laughs> Is that that guy? He's an that accountant guy. or something like that with big, big afro. Big hair. Big glasses. hair. And funny. And I think he's he got funny hair. And I think he performs with his nephew. Does he? I think so. Okay. I think his group was him and his nephew. We'll do it in the three hour fact check after this. <laughs> What's his nephew's name? Blue Foo. Blue Foo. Thank little you. Little Foo. Little Foo. Little Foo. Little Foo. 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 We've been having sex for a while and recently I told him that I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't be that person. He told me that I can't be the one to tell Dulcie. I said that was fine as long as he did. He promised. He promised me he would, but men, huh? He said he hasn't said a word. What can I do? I'm thinking of writing an anonymous note. All right, so Alistair Trombley Birch. Seems like she just did. She's, she did. <laughs> but sending it to Dulcie. Yeah. But what why, do you think I should do, Alistair, in this situation? Well, I mean, firstly, what benefit is an anonymous note if you're going to send a note saying, by the way, I, I'm having sex with your husband. Yeah. Or, or like, but even like that, if I guess if she's telling the uh, Dulcie. Dulcie. Gorgeous Dulcie. She's yeah, big as gorgeous, a tree. Gorgeous. Big as a big tree. As a tree. <laughs> beautiful artist. No piss on her paintings normally. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> a lot of the time she doesn't have them. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, she so she's like look so she would write an anonymous note saying your friend has been having sex with your husband mm. is that what it is I think so but then the why not just tell her right. like I mean if you're gonna fuck up your relationship yeah, anyway yeah. why not just go yeah I was having sex with your husband and yeah you should probably leave your husband yes or whatever like that yeah um, yeah, yeah men huh yeah Ugh, <laughs> awful people um I'm not sure you know it just feels like you know poor Dulcie you know, poor Dulcie it's not her fault that she was hot not her fault yeah. Not her fault that uh, that Ash became gorgeous. You know, she got the look from yep. her husband first. That's right. And the and, licks across the room. And the licks from across the room. He would have, <laughs> using his traditional flirting method, <laughs> of licks. air licks. He called just air licks across the room. Just the tongue Almost out, just, just yeah. licking across the room. Dog style. It's quite nice, isn't it? He might not even been flirting. He might have just not had um, like a dog sweat gland. Or dry lips. And, yeah, he just was, he was just sweating through his mouth. And that can happen. That can happen. Yeah. I mean, again, we're not scientists. If genetically you could break and enter into people's houses, that's true. You know, genetically you might just sweat through your mouth like a dog. <laughs> anyway, that's that's everything I have. To, that's <laughs> that's all the input. The <laughs> Dave, what do you do in a situation like this? Are you coming clean? Oh man, uh, don't envy her. No. Uh, what a situation. <laughs> I can't. I maybe I can't imagine she's that happy in a relationship with with this guy no. who, who's who's cheating on her. No, uh, you know she, she's so envious of Dulcie's perfect life. Mm-hmm, well, mm-hmm. I think she's kind of exposed that yeah, you know, it's not so it's not so it's perfect. not so perfect over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you think maybe she needs to get out? Dulcie needs to get out, and she needs to leave as well. Yeah. Well, from the sounds of it, yeah. she can do a lot better. Dulcie. She can do so much better. Yeah, oh she my should God. change her name because yeah. Dulcie. Dulcie. I don't like it. You don't like Dulcie's don't name. Like it. No, you don't no. like Dulcie's name. No. Change your name and move somewhere. Move yeah. overseas, Canada. I say move to Montreal. Start <laughs> again. Start start French. You That's know. good. Start French. Start start being French. Start being French. Um, I mean, like the other thing I was thinking is that this lady is like upset that Dulcie's life was so good, but then in the process of trying to make Dulcie's life worse, she's actually made her own life much worse and much more stressful. Beautifully put. You know what I mean? So. I would just say you could just cut ties and even not say anything, and yep. already you'd improve both pe- both groups of people's lives. That's true. You know? Yeah. Okay. I love um, that. And then, 
But you know, you could really fucking drop that bomb. You could drop that bomb. You could drop that bomb, bomb and let everybody uh, have a fresh start. Yeah, let everyone you know? start again. Yeah, That's let, quite nice. Yeah, let everybody start again. Let's move on to the next confession today because we solved Ash's problems. The next confession comes from gorgeous Simon. Simon confesses. Beautiful Simon. Beautiful Simon. Morning. <laughs> I have a stressful situation on my hands. I've got a knack for getting myself into situations. I have no idea how to get out of. Am I a good guy? It's hard to know anymore. I keep pretending to be other people online. (laughs) It's a hobby. I know a very dangerous hobby, but something I've always loved doing as a little side project. It brings me great joy at night, go over a glass of wine to sit up and chat to men all over the world. I flirt with them a little, tell them how great they are and just generally compliment everything. Nice guy. It's a yeah. lovely seems guy. like a quite, lovely, quite a yeah. nice, quite a thing. nice person. What a dangerous pastime! <laughs> he's very dangerous. He's gonna go and shoot oh, people's I don't ass. know how he's gonna get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to give so much joy to the world. There's a little bit of dirty talk, sure, which I'm not really into, but you have to lean into that little side so it doesn't come across as a fake profile right away. Sure. Recently, I started chatting to a guy, Alex, who I think is a really lonely gamer boy. Right. He seems different than the rest of the guys I chat to. He seems sweeter and softer. I imagine he has nice hands. (laughs) Wouldn't they be much more calloused and things like that from from gaming and stuff? We don't know. Maybe he moisturizes daily. We don't know that sort of stuff. We actually don't know. Mm. I I could imagine a gamer actually spending a lot of time with moisturizer (laughs) on his hands. (laughs) (laughs) Not thinking about it too much, but absolutely. (laughs) We got chatting and all was going well. There was the usual stuff, the usual tension build up. And then he told me one day they'd never been able to speak to a girl like he speaks to me. And there was something very different about me. Got that right, Simon? He's pretty clued on this Pretty guy. clued yeah. on, yeah. I told him that I'm sure lots of other women out there feel the same about him. And I think he's rather special. That's nice. Yeah. Well, this is where it gets messed up. Uh-oh. This has been going on for a few months now and he really wants to meet up. He told me he loves me. I keep trying to put it off and tell him that I'm out of town or that I have a recital. (laughs) Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I have a very public performance (laughs) that that you could attend. And so we can't meet up. We cannot meet up. I can't even think of what the recitals are for. You see, when I talk to Alex, my mind goes a bit blank. I can't think of anything to tell him because I'm done lying to him. I'm done being a dick to him and making him feel awful. With the other guys, it was fine. The guys I didn't care about because all they wanted me for was my body. Someone else's body. Yeah. And someone to talk to. But now it feels like I've really done a number on myself and Alex. And he wants to meet up and get to know me. Maybe I should just rock up and face the music. Well, this is huge. This is huge. What do you think Simon should do? Alistair Tremblay virtual in a situation like this. This is huge. Um, you know, it, the, probably the easiest thing is to uh, get on and say, hi, uh, this is Simon's mother. Wow. And Simon passed away. <laughs> <laughs> That is the easiest thing. But he's not Simon. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, you Simone. know. As, yeah, Simone. Simone's passed Simone's away. Simone's passed away. So the mum just what? <laughs> just chats to all the gamer boys. Yeah. For Simone. This is Simon's mother. I'm so distraught about <laughs> my son, daughter's death. Daughter. I've, daughter. Uh, Make sure it says daughter. I've uh, mixed up her name and gender. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, you can, I hope you can understand. And then, but then. How did she die? How did Simon uh, Old age. Y- yeah, old age. <laughs> <laughs> She died of old age. And she's logging on to make sure. Yeah, yeah. and okay. so so how old's the mom? Yeah, she's like, I'm just saying this from my own deathbed. Wow! And so I'm gonna pass away soon. My her expect, dying wish was to reach out to all message, the gamer boys. <laughs> expect a message from my mother very soon. <laughs> We all die in reverse order. Um, <laughs> you know. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, that's good advice. And, and I, think, I don't really know what the advice is, but I like it. No, but it's like, it's just. It's interesting. It's making a clean break. It's making a very clean break. You know? No, and no further questions, no, I'm sure. That's right. No consequences. It won't let people puzzle. Let, yeah, let, I mean, leave people puzzled. Then Gamer Boy will be sad about having a lost little bit. this person. Sure. Yeah, Can't absolutely. go to those recitals anymore. But. 
won't feel the shame of being tricked. Yeah. Won't he want to attend the funeral? Well, yeah, but she's got a recital ah, on right, that day. Of course, yes. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got a recital on that yeah, day. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, my <laughs> final <laughs> recital from Beyond the Grave. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> she will, but then she'll be like, look, she could even send a message. The mother's like, I'm, I'm fading away now. I'm just these are last to, few words. You have to stretch out the words a bit so it really looks like yeah, I'm fading. I'm fading. Yeah. But, you know, and just go like, look, I'm just sending this message and then God, that's I, good. I won't be checking this again. You know, you can, time. You I'm, can dead. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm an old woman. I'm very old. I'm very old. <laughs> you know, I met Vincent van Gogh once. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah. Leave I mean, is that. That, is that kind of, it that's also shows her age flavor, as well. Yeah. She's like, oh, he died like 100 years yeah. ago. Yeah. How really old is she? Yeah. 135 years. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. Is that true that you actually Eight, know that? 1889. That's amazing. Wow. I don't know if you know this, yeah. that David has a, an, a tremendous memory for dates and wow. facts. And so, what was the moon landing? 1969. Whoa. Wow. What year did Diana born? Or 1961. Wow. <laughs> I, don't even, I can't even check that. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's incredible. What year was milk first bottled? Well, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the most obscure thing <laughs> that would I <laughs> God, that's disappointing. I take it back. David actually is terrible well, at this, and I'm so sorry. Does anybody know? I don't think you so. know. Oh. It's so There'd be someone who loves milk that much that, that would know. But that I, I compliment a skill, and then <laughs> it immediately blows up in my face. I look like an idiot. <laughs> now it looks Two like I don't. Ain't bad. I don't know any facts. Not even that David knows yeah. facts. <laughs> what would you do, David? Is it you agree with? With Alistair, that that's the only way forward that you have to go. Yeah, and pretend like, to be the no, I, I pretend to be dead. I like, I like pretend to be dead. I, good. I was gonna say, just delete the app and stop talking to this that's guy. What, but but I like the do. death. I like, I like the. Uh, the They're fake all easy. Death. Fake All your own these death. are easy. Yes, mm-hmm. it's a good way out. Fake your own death is nice, but you could also delete the app and just fade away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many recitals. <laughs> I'm, over, I'm overbooked. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I booked up too many recitals. We could never meet. Yeah, I've, I've filled up my phone with recital apps, <laughs> recital planning apps, booking apps, you know, playing apps. <laughs> playing apps. You know, and then, um, sorry, I had a need to clear the space. A lot of videos of recitals. <laughs> oh, of, they take up a lot of space. Yeah, a lot of audio recordings of recitals. Yes. I'm filming too. I'm fi- filming and recording at the same time. <laughs> These are the things that the mother can put in after <laughs> she's, <laughs> the, as she's passed That's the, the good stuff. Now we've got the final confession oh that comes gosh. from Gorgeous Sandra. I can't, I can't believe we're already at the oh, end. Feels good though, doesn't it? Feels like we've solved a lot of people's problems. <laughs> yeah. Sandra confesses, how long has it been since my last confession? A long time. As much as I'd like to pretend I confess all the time, I don't. <laughs> I'm I, glad she's I'm, being honest she's, about yeah, that. you got to pretend. <laughs> I stole my friend's handbag. I'd wanted it for a long time and we were about 19 at the time. I was working two jobs and she had rich parents so never had to work. I know that's not fair for me to put that kind of pressure on her and dismiss her own experiences like that, but it's how I felt at the time. Yep. Yep. She always told me how jealous she was of that. She was, I work, she was jealous. The friend was jealous of her hard work. Oh. She had good work ethic, I think. Imagine that's, that's a f- terrible thing to say to somebody who's poor. <laughs> I admire that you have to work all the time. I admire. I'm too rich to get a job. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> I don't think poor, about you, you at all. Yeah. I admire how much you work. Yeah. It's actually, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I don't have to. I wish I had to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I worked so hard and believed in myself. Well, I wanted to, and I always thought I'd amount to something quite great. When we, when we would go out together, she'd always have the latest and greatest fashion accessory. And this bag drove me crazy. Oh, my God. So imagine she's like a female um, red foo. Big glasses, Big chains. <laughs> always the latest fashion. Always has a nephew around. Always Little foo. <laughs> Little foo. I thought about it all the time, and I knew at some point I would want to snatch it. And that I did. One time when we were out, I hid it behind a pot plant and went back to claim it later. Now I have the bag. Now it's all mine. It's- I can't be seen with it, of course, because she would know. Yeah, that's the main. That's the main issue with that's this the main whole issue. thing. Yeah, is that the people you friends. can never take it out. Yeah, the people that you hang out with are the people that you stole from. 
and therefore See, that makes it hard doesn't yeah it? then you can't use the bag for the its intended purpose which yeah. is to sh- show it off well it can't be an everyday bag no you can use it right. on holidays yeah. That's yeah. It. can't take it grocery shopping no <laughs> She would know exactly what happened because she would have noticed my eyes glued to it at all times. I felt like such a fraud and a bad, bad friend. I feel as though I desperately want to tell her what I did. The guilt is eating me up inside. I know that people have done a lot of bad things in the world, but I always take a lot of pride in being a loyal friend. And I take a lot of pride in working for what I have. I mean, she doesn't need to have any of that pride. That's right. She doesn't need to take that pride because she didn't work for what she has. That's and right. She's not a loyal friend. Well, she <laughs> she, uh, she did the work of putting it behind a pop plant. That's, that's true. true. That is that's, work. That's hard work. That's, that's all been down. You know, that's that. That's those. Uh, those the, the working class uh, instincts <sighs> kicking in. That's right. Working hard, stealing. Yeah. <laughs> I have been very lucky in life, but fuck this bag is nice. <laughs> fuck this bag is nice. Says it twice. Oh, really means it. Well, it really means it. I keep looking at myself in the mirror and all I can think is, who is she? The bag was reaching out and asking me to take it. It was like it was almost possessed. And now I think I might be possessed. Maybe I have a demon that is living inside of me. What kind of bag are you picturing? I'm picturing it's like, you know, like when you go to Woolies and they've got those paper bags, but then they also have those really colorful reusable bags. Yeah. I picture it's one of those. Well, she <laughs> takes that with her everywhere to nightclubs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get these for 10 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I'm picturing uh, the magic handbag yeah. that Felix the cat has. That, you know, it's it's yellow and it's got the black crosses and you can carry anything in it. Oh, like that's, a really nice like that's a nice bag. That's, yeah. You want to steal that bag. <laughs> That's think, a nice uh, one. I yeah. think Mary Poppins stole that bag. She has a very similar one. Oh, really? Same yeah, concept. Yeah. <laughs> keep a keep a long like a coat hook. Co- yeah. Coat, coat rack on it. Coat rack. Yeah, yeah. That yeah that's nice. That's a real nice thing. So, so yeah. what do you think she should do in a situation like David? What would you do in this situation? Would you be fessing up and saying I stole your bag? Oh man. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> but you're gonna ruin a friendship. That's the thing. You're gonna absolutely ruin the friendship. I would f- I would hide the bag somewhere and then make it look like I found it. Mm. Oh, that's good. And then maybe as a reward, she might give me the bag. Oh, that's yeah, That right. could be really nice. <laughs> that could be real. That would work yeah. out quite so nice. It's almost like trying to launder the bag, trying to find a way yeah. of being able to make it seem legitimate that you have that's the bag. Good. That's and then, good. Yeah. Oh, that's bag it's, laundering. It's, I really like bag that. Bag laundering is good. Yeah. How do you launder a bag? You got to take it to a dry cleaner, surely. Yeah, well that's a, yeah, that's actual laundering. Um, I mean, yeah. you could just paint the bag, but then of course it ruins its actual niceness. And then, the, it ruins <laughs> its imagine, niceness. I mean, imagine that you just like take the, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm picturing it's probably some Louis Vuitton or probably, some bullshit, you know, like that, like that. Probably. And then you kind of paint it a slightly different color and then you show up with it and they're like, oh, that looks a lot like my bag. <laughs> yeah, but was yours blue? <laughs> it's a Louis Vuitton. <laughs> was, yeah. It says Louis Vuitton, but you just crossed it out and wrote an Anko on top. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I got this just an Anko paper. bag. Anko. I work for what I have. Yeah. Unlike some of you. I would love to work. I would love to work. I would love I to work. work. I want to work. But I have everything I need. I don't know. So um, that kind of attitude, you kind of deserve to have the bag stolen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the end, it's who gives a shit? It's a bag. It's a bag. It's a bit of money. Yeah. It's like, if she could just put it in the bin and then like, the girl's, about the girl's already written it off. Like, yeah. She already thinks it's gone. She doesn't care. She yeah. can just get it another free bag from her rich parents. That's true. Yeah. So you just think, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just move on with your life and don't steal from your friends again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't really be seen with it. So I don't no, know that's right. It. You can't yeah. go out with it ever. Yeah, because they're going to know right away. And your friend might come to your house and just see the bag. Yeah, you know. So really, you're that just kind of bad. yeah, you're 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 just carrying around something that well, you're, or you're storing something that's going to end up getting you incriminated and <laughs> yeah. probably have your reputation ruined. That's as true. A, as a good Such hard a great working person, reputation. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's a good reputation on the line. I think. Yeah. Yeah. As a you know, just a hardworking, uh, regular person. Um, yeah, I mean, I think in the end, it's not that big of a crime. Mm. I think stealing from the rich is okay. <laughs> it's always okay. It's, it's always okay. It's, I mean, out of all the people that you're going to steal from, yeah, it's probably more okay. If if it was reversed yeah. and the rich lady was like, my friend, I'm really impressed by her hard work and yeah. she worked really hard to buy this Louis Vuitton bag mm. and I really wanted it because I thought she doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit with her class of person. Yes. And then she stole it. I think this would be a much worse crime. Right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The, And yet this happens every single day. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure every it does. Every yeah. single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't belong here. 
You're not one of us. <laughs> get back into your lane, poory. <laughs> poory. <laughs> you goddamn poory. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's great advice. I think mean, that's beautiful advice. Now, at the end of it, we had four gorgeous confessions from four lovely people. That's right. Very we loved physically every beautiful every people. Physically beautiful mm. people. If you had to cast one of these as a major motion picture, which one do you think uh, sticks out to you the most? You've got Sandra, who, of course, um, stole the bag from her best friend. You've got Simon, who had a stressful situation uh, that, <laughs> that it brings him great joy to chat to men uh, online, but then he let someone fall in love with him. You've got Ash, who is having sex with Dulcie's husband, and you've got – who's a big tree. And you've got Jack, <laughs> who has been breaking into people's houses and shitting in, um, in random people's houses. Yeah. You know the Jack the the Jack story kind of reminds me of that scene. Have you seen One Hour Photo with yes. Robin Williams? Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's like a dream sequence where he's in their yes. house and he's sitting on the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we could. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can't obviously get Robin Williams, but could or we AI can, it? Or can yeah, we? this is interesting. Yeah, can we? Or, or can we oh, get yeah. him? Uh, the answer is no. No, no, no <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But um, who would you think? So who would you see as Jack? Yeah, how old do we think mm. Jack is? He's got a, he's got a wife. He's got kids. Yeah, how old do we think Jack? Thirty. Is? 30? Five, 30, so 35. Yeah, I think that's very possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, unless he's one of those guys who married really young. Because, sure. I mean, the the actions are the actions of, like, a dumb 25-year-old. I think, you know, like those guys who get really drunk and just accidentally go and fall asleep on somebody's floor in their house and they go into the yeah. Looking right at one. <laughs> I know <laughs> people like that. Yeah, I, I genuinely know somebody who's done that. Yeah, yeah. okay. He that's woke fun. up He woke up and some like somebody was like, what are you doing in my house? He goes, where's Wood Duck? Thinking that he was in his other friend's house, <laughs> who he called Wood Duck. Wood Duck. <laughs> it's a great reaction and to that like, question. He lives three houses up the road, and he goes, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I've, I've walked into the wrong house once. Whoa. Yeah. How? Well, uh, my <laughs> I gave him the wrong address. <laughs> my 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 parents in Adelaide had recently got divorced, and right. my mum had moved into another house, and I went because I live in Melbourne. I went back to Adelaide to visit her. And uh, she picked me up from the airport and took me to her house. And then I was only there for a few minutes before I went out to, for something else. And I came back in the evening and her house was like one of those subdivisions. So right. it was it used to be a big house there and they'd knocked it down and built two identical houses <laughs> yeah. on the wow. same block. And because I wasn't re- completely familiar yeah. with the, yeah. uh, the layout, um, I had a key. I went to what I thought was the house and the door was unlocked, so I just opened it. I was going to shit in. in. Yeah, and it's one of those you know really sort of skinny houses because mm. it's like a you know they had to have two sort of long. Yeah, skinny yeah, houses. yeah. And I'm like walking down this hallway, and I'm looking left and right, and I'm like, oh, there's a lot of uh, new furniture that she's got. <laughs> I guess. It's, and then like some dog like walked past. Like, dog is that? <laughs> Random dog in the house. And then I like look up and I realize. Shit, I'm in the wrong house. I say that out loud. As shit, I'm in the wrong house, and I sort of start to move back towards the uh, the front door. And by that point, people have come out of the rooms and they're looking at me, and I'm like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> walked into the wrong house, and luckily they were okay. Oh my god, there wasn't a sketch artist nearby, was it? Oh, yeah. Furiously you could have been, taken. <laughs> you could have been. Your reputation yeah. could have been ruined. Oh my god, in the south of Australia. Yeah. Imagine doing that in the US, though. Like, yeah, yeah you know. somebody just already has a gun under their pillow yeah. or something like that. <laughs> Jesus. What would so? What would you? So who would you be casting in this? So you got you got Jack. Okay, the, would you, in, the, in the shitter. Yeah, in the shitter. Okay, yeah. So okay, we got Jack the Jack shitter. Has. He's. I think you want to see him as kind of like a regular reputable guy. Sure. You know, he's got to have some kind of face that looks like Kevin James. C- Kevin could be James Kevin there, James. Yeah. Could be Kevin James. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I right. mean, I'm thinking like a Michael Fassbender. You know, wow. a guy who looks like, you know, oh, yeah. he's, he's got a regular like, uh, you know, he's a high flying investor or something yep. like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then he, you know, on, on, at nighttime, he's a house shitter. Oh, that's good. The that's house good. shitter. The, the house, house shitter. shitter. That's good. That's a good name. The house shitter. Is it a comedy or is it a drama? Wasn't there a movie a called House Sitter? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goldie Horn and Mel yes. Gibson? Yeah, 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 yeah. The House Sitter. Yeah. Well, we can wheel out Mel Gibson for yeah. this, I reckon. Sure. He, he oh, can be yeah. one of the people in the houses. Oh, absolutely. Actually, yeah. But I think that it could be a bit like Parasite in that it kind of has a real comedy start. Oh, right? sure. Okay. Because you kind of see this kind of thing. And then one day at some point he's in a house and he's shitting and then somebody comes home. Yep. 
and he overhears them and they sound like bikies or something oh, like that. Oh, okay. So we'll get Mel Gibson for the bikie. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I mean, we could get him for the bikie, but we yeah. could also get him the guy who's trapped in the t- in the toilet. Let's get Shane Jacobson as one of the bikies. Oh my God, that would if be we great. That would be perfect. Yeah, let's try and get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely Ang- guy. Lovely guy. We'll yeah. try and get- but yeah. he'd look good as a bikie. I and I bet, you, I bet you he could look angry. You know, I bet you once you get him- you Let's get, get Paul him Hogan on- as well. Get Paul Hogan. If we can. Yeah, let's get the whole- Let's get the- you know who's the guy from uh, Chris Lilly? No, no, the the guy who Paul Hogan did the uh, Strange Bedfellows with. Oh, Michael Caton. Let's get Michael Caton in there. Michael yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, we okay. get all all these classic. Yeah, you know, if we could nice. get Bud Tingwell, it'd be great oh, to, get, to Bud get Bud in Bud. there. Sir Bud, <laughs> Sir Bud. If we can get him, if we could get uh, you know Nelly Melba, get oh, her as a wow. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> she could do the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Ruth right Cracknell. There. Yeah, Ruth Crack. Ruth the Crack Cracknell. <laughs> Uh, Bill Hunter, Bill, yeah, Bill Hunter, Hunter. who you, who you met Bill once, who I met Did once. You? Yeah. yeah, I served him at the at the at the B- BWS on Ligon Street, and I said, "How's your day?" He said, "No one's fucked it up yet." Like that? Gee, said, that's good. Yeah. I like then, that. Always auditioning for a role. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> the you're hired. hired. <laughs> I'm, 10 years have gone by, and I'm, I'm still trying to cast him and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's fucked it up yet. <laughs> That one's fucking God, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I love him. Yeah, okay. okay. So lots of Australian stars. Stars, they're all bikers. throughout. Yeah. All bikers. Yeah. And uh, and then, then it becomes a real tense kind of like, okay. we, we I'm stuck in these guys' houses and I'm, and I'm still sh- pinching one off. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there's yeah, like okay. some deal happening on the other side of the door. Yeah. That's something good. Something goes awry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like yeah. the, so Mel Gibson could be the other person who... He's getting money from them or something. Because be he's great. got that kind of yeah, you got Shane Jackson, Paul Hogan, Michael Cape all sitting up yeah. to his, just chatting. Cast. You should all start cast. Yeah. And they're kind of funny, they're having a good chat and everything, but Mel Gibson's kind of the scary one that comes into the house. And then it starts as a shootout. There's yep. a I'm gonna look through your house yeah. now. Great. Starting with the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Starting with the top. Not just, that bathroom, the one down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> the hall. And so a is smaller he got, one. Has he got his kids and his wife with him as well, like downstairs? In, um, it's a parasite oh. thing. Do you want to get Get like the wife. You're doing Asha Ketty or someone like that. Oh my god, maybe great like maybe that. they're waiting outside on the street for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they, she's pushing the pram. Wow. They've got the dog and they got the like ten that. year old in the and pram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's she's breastfeeding him real quick. <laughs> you know, one last breast foot. One la- only one more now. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, I just got to return this wrench. To uh, to old Bill here, oh, like yeah, that, yeah. you know. So he's got an excuse. He's lying to the family, mm-hmm. like that. Oh, I like that. And they're standing there, and they see all these people show up on their motorbikes, mm-hmm. and then they see Mel Gibson arrive in his like Tirana, and he's like, you or know, he's, he's, he's like, at, or his camera, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. But he's, you know, he, it's, you know, get the gringo kind of, uh, you know, oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mel Gibson. You know, he's he's an action star in this yeah. one, and he's all okay. bearded and <laughs> gruff. I like that. I really like that a lot. He's going a Cobra. Yeah, and then so then they go to the door once they think, well, where what's what's happening with this wrench? Oh, you know, and so that now they're involved. They're in the yeah, house. Yeah, okay. They but he they but but what are they doing? Mel, they- Mel Gibson doesn't know yet yeah. that there's the other guy in the toilet shitting. You know, <laughs> are you still shitting, or is he downstairs at this point? He's hey? like in a little basement. He could be in a little basement. Yeah, but then so then but then they're like, oh, my husband's in here, and he goes, what? Because you know he's just committed some crimes in there. Oh, you know. <laughs> Probably shot. He shot Shane. He shot Paul. Oh, no. He shot okay. Dame Nelly. Oh, <laughs> Mel- my God. All the bikies are dead. All the bikies. Bill Hunter's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still, but he's pretended to be dead for he's a bit. Pretending so we all, we all think they're all dead. Yeah. And then he's still got a gun. He's still got a gun. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. pretending to be dead. He's got... He's like that? Tongue out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think he's got his tongue out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really like this film. How shit up. How, How shit yeah. This is really, really good. Now, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Alistair Trombley Birchall. How do people find you and every wonderful thing that you do? You know what? You just type in Alistair Trombley Birchall into Google and then wow. <laughs> and any aspect that you want. If you Alistair type in TB. Alistair TB. That's the, um, I'm on like that on That'll Twitter. You know, but if you type in anything you want, Alistair Trombley Birchall photos like that, and you just go to Google Images, yep. you'll find some. You go Alistair Trombley Birchall uh, Instagram, you know, you'll find that. Alistair yep. Trombley Birchall, uh, you know, if we click on the news tab, does anything come up in the news? I think tab? I'll, oh, you could probably get some really bad re- comedy festival reviews that yeah. I may have received <laughs> from a few years back. From quite a few yeah. years back, yeah, but you know what? There's always, you know, anytime I do a comedy show, there's always an opportunity for some bad comedy reviews. This is to come beautifully out. Yeah. put. Beautifully put. 
David, how do people find you and every wonderful thing that you do? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um, you type Alistair to TB <laughs> right, and Google. Right. And yeah. uh, one of them, I'm sure. Well, one me, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or David M. Green, maybe that might work too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. sure. Well, thank you so much, Alistair, for joining me on the podcast. Thank you for joining me on the podcast. <laughs> thank you, David, for joining me on the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Good night, Australia. Bye. Say hi to your mum for me. Thank you, Rove Love. <laughs>